I've got fucking Sue like and her. Hi guys, I'm doing a fucking massive haul. Now, when I say big, I mean big. I mean, I've got a lot, a lot of clothes here. This is stuff I've been buying throughout lockdown and I've been bored and I've just been spending money. So there's a lot to fucking show, let me tell you. Let's just get started because I'm dripping with sweat and I've got so much shit to show you guys and I'm really, really, really excited because I've got so many amazing new clothes but I still want more and I've still got some more ordered that haven't come yet but I thought I'd just film the haul now because we're not gonna wait forever for everything to come because that would never stop because I just keep ordering more stuff. Anyway let's begin. <laughs> Firstly I want to talk about this book. Now this book I think I'm gonna have to make a whole YouTube video on it let me tell you because it's that good. It is this book called Women Don't Owe You Pretty by Florence Given off Amazon for like £10. When I tell you to get one thing from this haul get this Book. Now you might hear me say that and you're like, oh, like I don't want a fucking book. I don't want to read a book. No, listen here. You need this book. You need it. You need it. If you're a girl, if you're a guy, if you're whatever, you need this fucking book. It is insane. I read like really about halfway through and honestly, it just has changed my perception on being a girl. It just talks about being a girl and how women are oppressed in society, about feminism, about boyfriends, about masturbation, about sex, about dating, about protecting your energy, loads of stuff like that. Honestly, buy the fucking book and thank me later because it's the most incredible book ever. Literally 10 pounds. Like Next, oh, I don't even know where to start. I've literally got so much stuff. Like where the fuck do I start? Okay, I guess we'll start on accessories. Yeah, we'll start on accessories. Okay, so firstly, I ordered some stuff off AliExpress. Now, I've literally never bought anything off there before, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it because I kept seeing it over TikTok and I was like, TikTok, you know, it persuades me to like do stuff with my life. I bought some stuff off AliExpress. So firstly, I got these earrings. <laughs> these are some very questionable earrings, but I'm honestly obsessed and I love them so much they're just little babies like they're just little like fucking children I think they're like two pounds the only thing with AliExpress it takes so long to come like so long but I'm kind of not mad for the price like pounds for earrings come through like it's just a fucking baby I don't know I just think they're so fucking funny and like cool and the baby has cake like the baby literally has like a fat ass is that weird for me to say <laughs> like I don't know I just was drawn to these earrings and I'm obsessed I fucking love them and then I got some earrings from Sheen. Sheen actually does earrings so well. Like, they're all so cheap and, like, very good quality in my opinion. So I got these flame ones. They're just silver flame ones. I think they were, like, £3. Very good quality. Definitely, you know, look nice in the ear. I also got the same kind of style but in knives because I'm, this warns the bitches to stay clear of me because I will cut them. Three pounds, they look kind of fun. And I got these hoops because I really love like small chunky hoops and they're literally just like these little silver chunky hoops again like two or three pounds. They hurt my ears a little bit but like I still wear them and I still like them and again two two or three pounds for hoops yes please and if you know me silver jewelry is the way to go no, none of this gold shit do you know what I mean like, I'm looking at this now and I'm like Jess you needed to hold back and you just really didn't but guess what I'm making a YouTube video out of it so it's kind of okay okay I guess we'll start with this bikini first oh I really love this bikini I got this bikini off ASOS it's from weekday and it's actually made with recycled plastic so I felt kind of good buying it but I'm definitely not doing a try on clip of this. Um, don't even think about it. Just this like baby pink bikini and it like zips up at the front. And I really like it. It reminds me of like a fucking lifeguard, like a sexy lifeguard. And like, I fucking love that. Let's see, it makes my boobs look kind of good. Like the one thing I've got from lockdown is boobs suddenly. I don't know what's happened there, but there you go. That's the top. It's so cute. I think the top and the bottom's like 10 or 12 pounds each. And then the bottoms are like, these are the kind of bottoms I'd wear like on a family holiday because they cover your whole bum and I feel like when I'm with my family I don't really want like my butt cheeks hanging out sort of thing. Bottoms are not the most flattering things ever. I'd probably like mix and match the top with like another pair of bottoms because again these aren't the most flattering on me because they kind of just cover your whole bum and sometimes I do like a bit of like cheek out like is that okay am I allowed to say that yeah these are the pants and again ASOS weekday they have loads of amazing bikinis made from recycled plastic so definitely go check that then I bought two pairs of shorts from Urban back in like the day on YouTube you had to be like before a haul oh my god I'm not trying to like brag or boast like I bought all this with my own money like I'm not trying to show off like don't give me hate in the comments like, really do people actually think about it that deeply like come on now my dad actually bought these two shorts for me because I need some shorts for the summer but like I even need them now seeing as I'm not going on holiday I don't know I still do wear them though so I got these two pairs of shorts from Urban from It's Franz the brand they're just these black like comfy shorts I really like them they're just really simple the one when you're going to the beach kind of thing and then I also got the same shorts and like a lilac-y grey which I also really like 
very comfy it's easy to wear like when you're on holiday or like just like in this kind of heat do you really want to put that much effort into your outfits i think the fuck not here are the shorts the black it's for shorts they're quite flattering just simple black shorts like you expect from them <laughs> just go with everything and they're just comfy easy to wear it's a good thing to have in your wardrobe here are the other pair of shorts they're just like a lilac -y gray really like them again just easy to wear Comfy for the summer. Try them on the top and fucking outfits all. Oh my god. Tell me why I bought three hoodies in the summer. Why did I need that? But the thing is with England, it's like hot one week. Like it's so hot this week. Next week it's raining all week. I kind of do have some logic behind my madness. Like I do know what I'm doing slightly. Do I? I don't know. I bought this hoodie anyway because <laughs> Timothy Chalamet's low he cancelled at the moment. But like I still do love him. And this photo is iconic. Anyway, I bought this customized hoodie from cold print really recommend and it's the fucking photo of frank ocean and timothy chalamet at the louis vuitton fashion show i'm pretty sure when i say iconic when i say two gods on a jumper two heroes sitting next to each other this is the hoodie this is this is literally like two of my favorite people on a hoodie you know i'm conflicted i don't really know but like this photo this hoodie it just screamed like I saw this photo and I was like no I need it on a hoodie like right now like I need it like I can't not have this on a hoodie so I, I got this hoodie I really really like it it makes me so excited just looking at it I need one with Leonardo DiCaprio now because I low-key changed my lock screen background from Timmy to Leo he's an unproblematic king unlike Mr. Timmy Chalamet yes 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 just yes like look at this hoodie tell me it's not iconic Tell me you don't want one. I fucking love it. I guess we'll carry on with like the sweatshirts and hoodies. I bought this big old sweatshirt from AliExpress as well. This took maybe a month more to come, but worth it. It is like the flame one from Weeks Day, which is sold out everywhere wherever, whenever I look for it. On AliExpress, it was 12 pounds people are selling it for like 40 to 60 pounds. Like I'm not paying that much money. It is this massive like black, sweater with this blue flame print on it i that's if i could like put myself into a sweater it would be this a knitted sweater is that what you call it but like the quality is so nice like it's thick it's soft i love it it's just cozy you can just wear it as a dress honestly because it's so big it was 12 fucking pounds like come on i want to be buried in this like i actually love it that much like it's it's just a bit of me really i'm one and truly obsessed like this is so fucking nice like it's soft it's baggy, it fits so well. Like, this is just a bit of me, you know, like a sweatshirt. Like, you can literally wear it as a dress. Like, it's long. Oh, and I'm wearing this right now. It's like 30 degrees in England, my window's shut, and I'm doing this. So, you better be fucking grateful. Um, I also got this set, tie dye set from Urban, because remember at the beginning of lockdown, like, everyone was going crazy for like the tie dye sets and like the tracksuit sets. Well, I was kind of living for it. Like, I actually love this set so much. But it's this It's Franz hoodie and jogger set from Urban. And here's the hoodie, like this tie-dye, blue, brown, white, spiral print. And I honestly love this outfit together. Like, it's so easy to wear. Like, it's just an outfit. Like, whack on some trainers and some accessories and you're fucking done. And, like, for uni, when I can't be asked, like, here we go. Like, I need... I'm gonna buy more, like, tracksuit sets before uni because this is perfect. But this is the hoodie. Love it. Fits so good because I feel like some hoodies fit me a bit weirdly, but... I really like and then here are the joggers which I also love I've got some other it's fronds joggers and I really really like the way they fit me fit me and yeah they're just the same print and I really like them and I'm very happy I've got that set it's gonna it's been very well worn already sorry but there's absolutely no way I'm trying on this tracksuit in this weather I'm absolutely dripping with sweat you can fucking get the picture of what this looks like there's no way I'm trying this on I'm so hot I'm done I'm literally done I'm gonna pass out <laughs> so Depop I got this skirt again tiktok is fucking persuading my life choices i saw all these little girlies with the little slats and just and i was like oh my god it's kind of cute like i'd say my style for the most part is like pe pe uniform like with a twist like pe chic if you will i saw all the slattinger scores and i was like they're cute but i kind of don't want to have the score everyone's got so i went on depop and i found this score and it's so cute it's this like navy blue adidas score it's literally like looks like my old pe score when i used to go to school like i literally could have just kept that and worn it here we are <laughs> it's really cute it's kind of short on me but i don't even give a shit because i've got shorts underneath so who the fuck cares but it's just adidas 
from Depop, so cute with a little top. This weather is perfect. And for a girl like me who's constantly like accidentally like constantly flashing, like I don't even know how I do it. School is kind of the way to go. So I love that. And also like to parties and stuff, this could be cute. I look sweaty and out of breath. It's because I am. My face is dripping with sweat, my glitter is falling off. Here is the skirt though, it's super cute. I love it, I think it's really flattering. And even though it's a bit short, like I still really like it. And with a little cute little sporty kind of looking top. Just perfect. Um, another thing I got from AliExpress is this sweater vest. I was seeing them all over fucking Pinterest. And I was like, I kind of want to try one. Like, they kind of look cool. And it's from AliExpress. I think it was like £10. Like, AliExpress come through with your prices. And it honestly feels so nice. The only thing with AliExpress clothing is you get them and they stink. Like, they smell of, like, chemicals. So, wash them and they're fine. Like, here is the sweater vest. This took about a month to come as well. I'm honestly still waiting and some stuff from AliExpress to come and it's literally been like two months. So maybe it's got lost in the post, who the fuck knows. But here's the sweater vest, it's super cute, it's just black with like this pattern of blue and white and I wear like a like a white top underneath it with like a little skirt and it's so cute. I honestly love this, this trend, this style. I think it's fucking sick. Okay, this is obviously not how I'd style this, like at all. I'd wear a top underneath it, but I just, I'm so hot, I just can't even think about putting more clothes on but here's what the sweater vest looks like it's really really nice i love it super soft fits really well and again i'd wear a top underneath i wouldn't just wear it like this this looks a bit strange like a little tennis skirt my black tennis skirt really cute i'm really fun like a bit different for me i wouldn't normally wear something like this it's giving me like granddad chic in the best way okay i guess i'll show you guys the shoes that i bought like would this be a jessica hot exo haul unless she bought a new pair of shoes i need to stop i actually need to stop seeing these nike air max jordans like everywhere like i've been wanting them for so long they've been on my pinterest board for the longest time they're the black and white ones the ones that are always out of stock and the ones that are being resold for like 800 pounds i was like no no no, i'm not doing that like i'm not paying 800 pounds for a pair of fucking nikes like no that's not happening on depop i found a few sellers who like customized nike jordans so this girl fucking bought the white ones and then made them white and black like why would i not take that offer and they were literally like 140 like that is so reasonable i think anyway so here they are literally my dream shoes <sighs> when i tell you they're perfect they are perfect they are my literal babies i love them so much like they're fucking hot they're so sick i just want to wear them right now like i actually love them so much they fit me really well i've got a five and a half i'm in like a five or a six in shoes i can't go over these i need another pair right now like i need to stop myself but they're just so sexy i love them so much so i went shopping with some of my friends in brighton we went into all like the little vintage shops which were open down the lanes and i bought two tops these two tops from to be worn again firstly i got this top which was eight pounds which kind of gives me like burberry vibes like i love it like it's this like tartany print baby blue with like brown and black and white tartan i love the straps i've tried these both on and they both fit me really well and then i like how at the bottom like this bit kind of comes down a bit lower i just think this is the cutest top i just love tops like this at the moment and literally it was eight pounds so like why would i not buy that because this top i really really like i would not probably style it like this i might just like tuck it up or i wouldn't probably wear it with this skirt but I really like it and it fits really well and for eight pounds like come on now my friend tilly actually convinced me to buy this top because i wasn't gonna get it but it's this like lingerie top which are really in style at the moment as well and i also have so many photos of them pinned on my pinterest board but it's this like lingerie top which again was eight pounds and it's like mesh green with like gray black like for floral print and then i love how in the middle it kind of cuts out and it's got this little um pendant i don't even know but it fits me so well as well. Like, it's a little bit sheer. Like, you can kind of see your nipples, but, like, who the fuck cares? Like, it's, it's a it's a look. It is a look. And yeah, here it is. Again, the green comes down a bit lower, which I really like. And eight pounds. Like, what? Like, I love them both so much. This top, I'm obsessed. I would not wear a bra of it, because obviously you can, like, see through it. But it's so cute and flattering. I really, really like it. It's not something I'd normally wear, but again... I'm obsessed and I love the like green mesh underneath. Moving on to the pile of tops I've bought. So firstly I've got this top from Sheen, Tyler Creators clothing brand. It's just this little green crop top which is like quite thick, like a bit like woolly if you will. With a little flower in the middle, a yellow and white flower. This fits real good, it was like £7, I really like it. It's just a little basic top just to throw on with stuff. This ain't bad. Like I probably wouldn't wear a bra with it and I'd probably like fold it up a little bit. But it's cute, I really like it. And again it does remind me a lot of Golf Wang, the clothing brand. Oh my god I got this top from Motel Rocks. I've been waiting for this top to come back into stock for the longest time. And it, again it's like this kind of like lingerie meshy top which I fucking love at the 
the moment. I just wear my little lounge um, bralette underneath and it looks so cute. Really love this, like the colours, like this colour is like my favourite colour, as you guys know. And the straps are adjustable, it's like £25, which isn't even too bad for motel rocks especially. And I love the like lilac-y lacing, I think it's fucking adorable. This top, I'm obsessed. Again, I would not probably wear it with this bra, but I just love it, like the colours are so cute. And again, I love the lace, it's just so pretty. I feel like it's really flattering cute top which I love. Okay I got quite a few tops from Depop I ain't gonna lie. I've been kind of loving Depop in lockdown like go me. So I got these two tops firstly they're both very basic but very like staple pieces I feel. And um, these two um, baby tees so firstly I got this baby pink baby tee which just goes with a lot like it just goes with anything and it fits really well. Top again simple fits well I would not wear this bra underneath because obviously you can see through it. But it's a cute colour, goes with a lot, like it's just a basic little piece to have. Also got this green one, which I honestly love this colour, like I never thought I'd be a green kind of girl, but I love this fucking colour. And again, it fits very well, very simple, very basic, will go with everything. The green one, again, really cute, I really actually like this colour on me, I think it's quite cute, quite nice. Again with a tan, it would look cute. But like, yeah, it's just like a basic, basic tee that just kind of goes with everything. This top at the beginning of lockdown, because you know, tie-dye was like a big thing. I did in fact tie-dye some stuff myself. Tank top vest, it's like blue tie-dye and it's got this like rhinestone like heart in the middle, which I love. I think this is so cute. I'll link all the Depop sellers that I bought stuff from down below or I'll put them on the screen so you guys can go check them out if you want. Because this top is literally so cute, like I love it, it's so flattering. And you can like tuck it up, do what you want with it. And the tans will look so cute because it'll be like vibrant against your tan kind of thing. Then I got these two tops, which are probably my favourite. I found this girl who like makes tops from like socks and like patches from old tops and shit. Like I think they're so sick. So I got these two tops from her. Um, I think her Depop is Maddie Page Knitwear, but I honestly really, really, really recommend you guys check this. This is the top, one of the tops that I got. So it's just, it fits so well as well. Like, honestly, I'm obsessed. And you don't have to wear a bra. So it's made from, like, a Nike sock there, and then loads of, like, patches of, like, pink, and then there's another, like, Nike there. And it just fits so well, and it's so cute. And again, I love this colour. I just think this is so cool and, like, unique, because obviously no one will really have anything like it. I am obsessed with this top. I would not wear a bra up with it, because, like, you just don't need to. But it's so nice. I just love the way it fits, and the colours are so cute. And it's just so unique and different for me. But I'm obsessed. I love it. I also got this top from her, which I really like. It's, like, a white top again made from like patches from like old tops and stuff and then it kind of like corsets in the middle with this darker pink string i just love it i don't have anything like this i think this is so cute honestly i definitely recommend checking her stuff out it's fucking sick this top again i'm not i wouldn't wear a bra of it but for the sake of this video i just am but it's just so cute i really like it like it's so different for me i don't really have anything like this but i really like the way it fits and it's really flattering on your boobs as well even though i've got tiny boobs like i don't think they'd pop out of this top, like it's quite secure. But this top, oh my god. So I had to order something golf wang, like I had to. Like I've been wanting some golf wang clothing for the longest time and I thought, I'm gonna get something, finally. So I ordered this grey t-shirt from Golf Wang. I had to pay £20 custom charge though. Tell me why I'll do it and I'll do it again. <laughs> I need to stop, like £20 is a lot to pay for fucking customs. But I got this top, really cute grey golf top with like the golf, like little writing. This with some joggers, it's just a fucking look with a skirt, with shorts, I just love it. And Tyler Crater is actually a god, like he's my fucking saviour. I'm obsessed, it's so cute. Like. In the winter as well, like a long sleeve mesh top underneath, it would be so cute. Yeah, like I'd probably fold it up or like tuck it in. And yeah, with like a mesh top underneath. I got this top from Sheen. I'm really not, f like, I don't know what I was thinking when I bought it. Like, I don't know if I like it or not. Now I'm looking at it now, I'm realising how ugly it is. Like, I don't actually know why I bought this. Do I like it? What was my vision with this? I'm really struggling to think. Like, is this cute? Is this cool? I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Maybe I'll try and put together an outfit with it, but honestly, I'm not really sure what I was thinking. I think it's a bit fucking ugly. Again, I just... I don't know if this top, like, is it incredibly ugly? I think it really depends what I paired it with, but I'm just really not sure. But, like, it's really soft. Like, it's nice quality. And if I don't end up liking it or wearing it, I'll just put it on my Depop. But I'm not sure. I'm just... 
What do you guys think? I got this skirt off AliExpress. I don't like it. I'm actually selling it on Depop because it just doesn't fit me very well. It was like a tenner and it's like this score, but it just doesn't fit me very well. It's just not very flattering on me. Uh, it's just a white and black score. It's meant to be like the UNIF one and I'm not paying £80 for a score. Thank you very much, UNIF. But it's on my Depop, so if you want it, fucking go buy it. The skirt, like, I feel like you might be able to know what I, see what I mean. Like, it's just not the most flattering on me. Like, I'm just... Not a fan of the shorts underneath aren't like tight to your body, like they're a bit saggy. They make my arse look a bit saggy. Like, I got these two tops from Urban because I really like Urban's like basic y tops. They fit me really well and like really good quality. So I got this black like halter neck top. I think halter neck's really flattering on me. I got this black top. You don't have to wear a bra of it, obviously, it's very thick quality. The halter top cannot be bothered to take my bra off, but. You get the gist, super cute, easy to wear. Literally one that's so much ready, so it's probably got deodorant stains on it. Also got this little, like, neon green top, which is super cute. And again, you don't have to wear a bra. It's really flattering when you've got a tan. Just flattering in general. It makes it look like you've got some boobs. Top is so cute. Like, I probably wouldn't wear a bra with it, but obviously if you wanted to, like, to make your boobs look a bit bigger, you could. But I really like it. Like, it's so nice, like, tight. Could wear it out, like, clubbing, just out to a party, or just, like, out to the beach. Honestly, I'd probably wear this as a bikini top as well. Like, it's really thick and nice quality. This top I got from the Named Collective, which was on the ASOS Marketplace. I love the Named Collective. All their stuff is so cool. And I've been seeing a lot of Bessie Boot stuff on Pinterest, and I wanted to get a little Bessie Boot top. So, it's just this Bessie Boot, like, graphic tee, which is really cute. And I got a big size, but I wish I got bigger, because it's not even that big. But, like, you can wear it, like, long, or, like, tuck it up, do whatever you want with it, and that is... Really, really cute as well. You really thought I'd be concocting new outfits for every single item. You're wrong. Here's the top. It fits really well. Like, I wish it was baggier, but I really like it. Super cute. Like, you could literally, like, pair it with anything. I hope you guys have enjoyed my haul. I hope you've liked everything I've bought. Maybe it's giving you some inspiration for things you want to buy yourself. I need to stop now, like, buying clothes, but I probably won't. Like, I won't. I will just keep going because I just love clothes so much. But then I always end up going back to like wearing the same outfits, but like that's my own problem. Enjoy to give it a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, follow all my socials, always link down below. I will be filming the first episode for my podcast next week, which is very exciting. So follow my Instagram for any updates on that. Buy the book. You won't, you won't regret it. Okay, see you guys next time, bye. <laughs>